Welcome back to Nets Republic. I, I, I just, I just, I just made a video for the Atlanta Dream, so I'm already kind of like hype and animated and angered. So I figure, why take a break? Let's just jump in and get both videos done at the exact same time. So I have to depart from yelling and cursing and get back into my business casual Nets Republic garb. Hi, I'm. I, 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 sk skip. I'm really a great guy. Listen. Okay, so. Y'all saw the press conference. We don't need to discuss it. You see the Summer League roster. We don't need to discuss it. If you're new to Nets Republic, the Summer League is not canon to me. I don't care. Same thing with the All-Star game. I I don't care. I'm sorry. There are, there are plenty of Nets YouTubers who are going to cover every single game. Shout out to them. I refuse. Like, call me when it's media day. I do not care. None of this is canon. But um, you see the title of the video. I want to just address this one final time and then I promise we're gonna leave the Mikel stuff alone. I just do not appreciate when I'm being lied to and then I get gaslit into like, oh no, that's not actually what happened. Because because obviously it seems like every time, every time, every team I cover kind of does the same Texas two steps and maybe other people don't call them out on it, but I'm the person that calls them out on it. Now, if that means I get like banned from venues and stuff like that and teams wanna pretend like they don't know who I am and that's cool. I don't, I don't do it for the clout. I do it because I'm insane, and that's perfectly fine. I do it because I'm autistic, but that's not the hint of there. In the in the in the in the zone of the Brooklyn Nets, okay. Focus would be on the Brooklyn Nets for a second. Sean Marks had that little uh, town hall thing, uh, press conference, which I will give Sean Marks credit. You know, he be he be he be coming out every now and again, talking to folks. That's more than some fan bases can say. And so, so, so shout out to Sean for giving us his quarterly breakdown of how he's destroying this franchise. Um, this man got on there and, you know, he said all the nice stuff you're supposed to say because New York media is very sheltered and it's very controlled and it's very algorithmic, if you will, to where it's like only certain people get to ask these people questions. Only certain people get to be in the room because they won't ask the hard hitting questions. They just want to be friends with people. Again, I'm not cut from that cloth, so you'll never see me get to ask Sean Marks a question. You know, but um, they were asking him just the silly stuff like, oh, we, we think the direction of the franchise is going to be, oh, you know, that's, that, that's such a great return you got for Mikhail Bridges. Oh, are we going to get, uh, <laughs> are we going to get Trenton Wofford to come back? You know, just, just, just stupid, stupid questions that feel really scripted and don't give us any insight. But now this is the YouTuber time to where I say 10 things you missed from a Sean Marks press conference. And number one. Okay, so, so this that this is what he actually said, right? This is what Sean Marks actually said. He said, and I, I, I can't do an Australian accent. You can do a lot of accents. Can't do an Australian once. I won't even try. He basically got up there and said, listen, remember how I said last time, this is how we rebuild and that, you know, the pieces are in front of us and we're going to be patient and we're not going to jump the gun. No, we're doing it for realsies this time, I promise you. For realsies, we're going to do it. We we acquired all this draft capital, as he says, because we're just going to draft a bunch of players. And we're not going to jump out the window at the first disgruntled star before the trade deadline. Definitely not going to do that again. So uh, why, why anyone believes him when he says things like this is beyond me. This is my fifth season covering the Nets, and I can tell you, he's lying. It's Cap, the first disgruntled star he sees. All those draft picks that we just acquired so we can be in control of our destiny, he will trade for whoever says I don't want to be here. Believe that. Believe that. So don't be surprised when a bunch of picks and Cam Thomas go to Chicago for Zach Levine. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when he trades Clowney for Vucevic. Don't be surprised. Because that's just how he gets down. But the main thing that I wanted to bring up is the title of the video. I appreciate I, I, I apologize. For the roundabout way of getting there, but I wanna I wanna set the mood. I wanna give you all the context before we get there. You know, we gotta build it up. I want you to have the full story, 
And also you might be eating while you're watching this. So I didn't want this video to be two minutes and you still got half a bowl of Cheerios left or whatever. I want to be there for you. So roundabout way to get to the title of the video. When asked for confirmation of what happened with the Mikel Bridges trade and doing the PR cleanup he always does, and I told y'all he was fin to do, this man said that in the, 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 the 18th hour, if you will, Leon Rose and the Knicks brass or whoever's over there came to the conclusion. And you have to forgive me. I don't know if it's Leon Rose. I don't know if it's that guy that had all the um, allegations that turned out to possibly be true and they tried to sweep it under the rugs. Steve Mills, I believe. I don't know which problematic person they have in power over there. I don't know if it was a Dolan thing. I don't know. There, there's too many problematic people in the front office and uh, uh, top dancers and people that will uh, try to sweep under the rug nasty behavior a la a, a World Wide West. I don't know which problematic individual from the Knicks prompted the trade according to Sean Marks. I don't know. I'm just guessing it's Leon Rose. So he said Leon Rose contacted him. Again, assuming it was him, I don't know. And offered him a trade package he just couldn't refuse. And that's how it happened. Mikhail Bridges allegedly did not ask to be traded. He found out, D. Rose style, over the phone from Sean March. Just, 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 hey, buddy, you had a good run, Brooklyn Bridges, all that stuff. You got to go to the other side of New York. So, sorry, buddy. You got to go two miles up the street, two trains up. Sorry, buddy. That's how Mikhail Bridges found out. Now, before we get to the Mikel side of it, let me just finish up with Sean Marks. Lie number one, this was not the first trade package with multiple picks that you received or were offered for Mikel Bridges. People have been trying to get Mikel from us for a full calendar year now. This is just the one you decided to accept. So don't lie. Don't lie and say you just got an offer you couldn't refuse because there were multiple other offers that would have helped us more. Again, the reason why I've been upset for the last two weeks, everybody thinks I'm just crazy, and I am. And I, don't get me wrong, I am. But it's the return for me. It's the multiple offers that we have seen that the Nets have turned down. Remember when everyone's been like, who do the Nets think Mikel is? Like that has been the narrative this entire year. So I'm not going to let them rewrite history and say this was the first great trade scenario that the, the Nets had ever received. That's a lie. That's a lie. Number one. And number two, we're going to stop this shenanigans of stars demanding trades from Brooklyn because y'all are dysfunctional and have no idea what you're doing and trying to pick and choose who's the hero, who's the good guy, who's the nice person, who's not in his character. We're not doing that because the way y'all did Harden still don't sit right with me. The way y'all did Kyrie Irving, while he deserved it, don't get me wrong. Where was this energy of people's character and the, Jesus, and the benefit of the doubt? Where was all of that? But we only do that with people we like when it matches the brand and the aesthetics. When he demanded to trade the first time, and he said, look, you either, it's, 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 it's me or Sean Marks 
and Steve Nash, remember that? He said, Josiah, you got to pick. But they sat that man down and said, buddy, you ain't going nowhere. And then they tried to come out on some kumbaya, just like, well, you know, you know, sometimes families fight. And blah, 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 blah. So when he eventually does leave, it's a situation of, oh, Kevin Durant is such a good guy. It's not in his character to demand a trade. It was just time and blah, 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 blah. The, 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 the net, specifically Sean Marks, will pick and choose the energy of the situation and how it is they want to frame it and repackage history as if we weren't there too. As if we weren't there too. You can't rewrite history when we were literally right there. And I covered it here on this channel. So stop the lies. Oh, Mikhail's just a good guy. He would never request a trade. Stop it. Don't don't try to don't try to save him and make him look cute because he's going out bad. Have that energy with everyone else. And I will vomit when the Knicks come into the Barclays. The Knicks! And y'all have some stupid thank you Mikel package. He's a Nick! So... Just because he accidentally stumbled upon a bunch of draft picks that he will trade for a star, please believe he will do that. Unless, unless the lottery goes crazy and we got like the number one pick and they hit the Cooper flag, which I don't know who that is. I just see his name a lot. So my apologies. But Sean Marks might not even have the patience for that. Who knows? All those picks... He's going to trade for some disgruntled star. Please believe that. Don't be surprised when Kawhi is on the team and half of the kids are gone. Do not be surprised. So that's the Sean Marks Avenue. Let's get to the Mikhail Bridges side of the story. I'm not going to read the statement because it's far too long and I don't care, but it's the way he ended it. Mikhail Bridges put out a Instagram post thingy thing, and towards the bottom of it, he said, and I was traded, IDK, what y'all want me to do? Mikel, I don't care what Sean Mark says. I don't care what you try to flip this into being. It is common knowledge that you asked for a trade. <gasps> Now, to play devil's advocate, we can sit here and say that none of us are Mikel, unless you're watching. I hate you. But unless you're watching, none of us are Mikel. So we don't know what happened. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll play devil's advocate. Let's say he didn't. Re he did. But let's say he didn't request a trade and he wanted that. He, 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 he did not want this. When you went on podcast mid-season and you didn't defend any of our teammates, sorry, your teammates, any of the other Nets, you just, you, just, you just let those bums over there on their podcast sit there and just torch Brooklyn and you didn't defend us, specifically Cam Thomas. You don't think that that type of energy and that type of stuff you're putting out into the world could lead us to doubt that you had any loyalty to us to begin with. That a narrative that you requested a trade would be believable based on your track record and how you act when we're not in the room. But let's take it away from there. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. We all came to the same conclusion, but we'll pretend like I'm the crazy one and I just read too much into it. What a boot on the court when we're playing the Knicks and they're trying to kill Cam Thomas. They're trying to put Claxton in a body bag. but you don't want to do anything to upset your Villanova friends.
any altercation that happens, Mikel is noticeably out of the picture. And after the game, after we get spanked, you're over there laughing it up with your friends. We, 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 see, we see him doing this. So you don't think behavior like that could, could, could get it, give any nod of the metaphorical cap to the idea that yes, it is believable that you requested the trade to be with your friends. And that part is not speculation. You have made it clear that they are your friends. Doesn't take much of a detective to put that together, but I'm just talking on the stuff that's not speculative. The fact that you are pointing the finger at us, like we're just some toxic fan base. If anything, I'm happy that Nets fans outside of me have grown a spine. Because for the longest time, it's just been me. Because y'all just sit there and let fan bases and players take all the Brooklyn clout and then go somewhere else with it and then poop on us and act like we're just some stepping stone. And life is better outside of Brooklyn. Now, while in theory I agree with that statement, in terms of the team and the pride, y'all have to stand up and not just let these players bully you like this. Mikel is full of crap, and y'all can't let him get away with that. So I'm happy y'all are fighting back. I'm happy y'all are making your voices heard so it's not just me. Because for the last four to five years, it's literally just been me. And y'all just sit there and say, hey, man, it's not that big a deal. You know, you know, as Nets fans, we're used to losing and, and Jason Kidd this and Kerry Kittles that. Y'all have to grow up and defend yourself and stand on business. In Atlanta, we don't take stuff like that. You come at Trey Young, oh, you better be ready for the war. They don't even do that across the bridge. Say something, Boo Julius. Say something, Boo Julius. Even though it's true, say something, Boo Julius. There'll be 20. If you, if, you, if you say Knicks three times in your bathroom, looking in the mirror with the lights off, 20 Knicks fans will appear behind you with Spider-Man masks and bottles of Henny and scream bing bong at you. I think it's time that we become a little toxic as a fan base ourselves and fight back. Now, I'm all for having fun. I'm all for having a good time. Y'all know how I feel about this up and coming season. But at the same time, I'm going out there like this. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm going out there like this. A little bit of this. Because we have got to defend our team. tired of the Nets being the butt of the joke and y'all are just letting it happen because y'all are the ones with the voices not me they don't mess with me they don't like me I keep it too real they don't mess with me they won't have me on the shows they won't have me on other podcasts and stuff. they don't mess with the kid so it's up to y'all the politically correct people, the the I, I don't like the way I worded that. The the uh the 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 suit and tie people who y'all get up there with your fancy podcast and such, and y'all get to ask Sean Marks questions in press conferences and stuff. Y'all be giving that to the players, all that all that all that cutesy stuff. It's up to y'all to defend our team. Because in the underground, they just going to let the kid yell and scream, and they don't even care. Someone like me, I'm always going to be an outlier. I'm always just going to be the voice of the underground. You know what I mean? So it's up to y'all that have the clout and the power. Y'all know how to brand yourself in a way to get the clicks and the viewership. Y'all have to defend us. Because I'm doing my part rallying the troops down here. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to give me a good 200 views. You feel me? But it's up to y'all to 
carry that spirit. You don't have to be as brash and disrespectful as me, but you need to continue the energy y'all have. And that starts with not letting Mikkel get these lies off. This is where it starts. I feel like y'all should have been on this energy to begin with, but if, if, it took, if it took this to get y'all to speak up, then cool, I'm here for it. And for the individuals who don't read between the lines and think this is just, you know, speculative, 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 speculation and like tin hat, you know, stuff, cool. You know, you think this is just conspiracy theories and just pure entertainment, cool. It is pure entertainment, don't get me wrong. But like, I understand if you just take everything that Sean Mark says and says, oh, well, Sean wouldn't lie to us, cool. You wanna live in the matrix, do that. Just be a little toxic when you're in the simulation, pretty please, because you got Brooklyn across your chest and you need to act like it. I don't have the same you know, home pride that y'all have for this team. I honestly can't even describe why it is I'm a fan of the Nets at this point. I don't know. I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer anymore, but I am and I'm here. So it's just like, don't, 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 don't let a transplant like me, you know what I mean? Have to be the loud barking voice here, you know? Pick, pick, pick up the torch yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Sean Mark's press conference. Do you think he's full of crap? I do. Uh, some of y'all probably don't, but cool. I know we all have different, you know, ideals and stuff on what draft picks mean and the capitals and all the fancy buzzwords. So I'm sure you already have, leave it all down below. I just wanted to make it clear that I am happy that I am not the only one who is pushing back against Mikel because the lies have gotten to be a little bit too much for me. And I don't like when people lie on me and then try to act like I wasn't there for things because we all watched this season. We all saw what type of time Mikel has been on. He absolutely asked for a trade. Stop the cap. Period.